I bought my Honda NC750X new just over three years ago and it's done 50,000 kilometers. So the question is, am I still happy with the bike after this time? Let's have a look at how it's held up physically over the three years. No corrosion on the fork legs. Even the paint on the bottoms of the forks hasn't chipped off. The radiator and the bottom of the cowling still look pretty good. The coating on the engine and the side covers still quite good. No corrosion or paint loss on the swing arm. And on the right side of the bike, it's the same story. The side covers still look almost new, and so does the engine. This bike is always garaged and always washed when it gets dirty. Regardless of that, I think it stood up pretty well to the riding conditions that I've exposed it to. Before I give you my opinion on the good, the bad and the ugly of this bike, here are my riding credentials. I've been riding since 1969, I got my license in 73, and I've had quite a few bikes over that time, both dirt bikes and road bikes. While I haven't owned the most exotic or the most expensive over that time, I have had quite a variety of bikes in the shed, even this 1960s BMW and of course a Honda 4. Then there's the 900 BMW, another Honda 4, a Kawasaki 750, a KLR 650, and the list goes on. Dirt bikes are interspersed between that, as well as a few restorations of Voltarcos. The 1150 BMW I owned for 13 years, and I even dabbled in the Can-Am trike for a while. But now it's the Honda NC. I'll start with what's good about the bike. The fuel economy, 3.3 litres per 100 on my last trip, and this is about what I average. Then there's that lovely glove box with that huge cabin for, to fit all sorts of goodies. I love the easy versatility of this bike. While it's just a road bike, it handles a bit of off-road riding quite easily. The low power but high torque makes it very easy to ride in these sorts of conditions. The 17 inch front wheel is no impediment to the odd river crossing. It's well mannered on bitumen roads as well. I love the low cost of ownership. I've done my own maintenance since new. Everything from oil and filter change, changing brake pads, also a very simple thing to do, through to valve adjustment are really quite easy. There don't seem to be too many bikes these days with screw and lock nut valve adjustment that make it easy for a backyard tinkerer to make sure the valves are adjusted properly. The NC is not only simple to maintain, but very satisfying. No bike is perfect. So what don't I like about it? Well, I'm 190 centimetres and the bike really is a little bit small for me. Just a little cramped. It's a small pain that the fuel filler is under the back seat. When I'm camping and I've got luggage on the back, it really isn't that much of a problem. It only takes a minute to remove the two straps, take the stuff off the back seat, and I've got access to the fuel filler. I was disappointed that the OEM chain gave up after 22,000 kilometres. Even with regular maintenance, the links ended up being frozen. Then one of the rear wheel bearings crapped out. A bit earlier than I would have expected, but not an expensive job. The biggest problem with owning an NC is that no one thinks you're a real man. How can you be if you're not owning a litre bike or a GS BMW? 
Well, sports bikes would find it a little hard riding on this stuff, and most GS BMWs have never seen any dirt. I bought my bike to ride, not as a status symbol. So I just have to live with not being a real man while I enjoy both dirt roads and beautiful smooth twisty bitumen. And at a pinch, even some really quite gnarly stuff. Fortunately I had company on this ride, so the odd disaster was able to be avoided. River crossings turned out to be easy, even with the 17 inch front wheel. And because of the low lugging capability of the bike, I was able to ride up these steep rocky hills without much trouble. OK, what about the ugly? Well, the only ugly thing is the rider. Everything else is just beautiful in my opinion. And I get to ride with my favourite riding buddy on not only dirt roads but beautiful bitumen as well. Camping and enjoying life. What more could one want from a motorcycle?